Hi, welcome to Life is Strange. We're going to pick it up. Uh, which save are we on this one? God, I can't believe it's been a year since I played. Um, we had just wound back time to save Chloe, which I thought was kind of a cop out, honestly. But what are you going to do? We'll play for about 15 minutes, maybe half an hour until we hit a checkpoint. Although with an hour last time, I don't remember the missions being... The missions? The episodes being particularly long, but we still haven't even found a photo. And I'm pretty sure... Chloe, you're alive, yes! Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Yeah, so, um... I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Are we done, Max? Um... Yeah, it just, it feels a bit like a massive, massive cop-out. Um... Still. I'm kind of glad that she's not, uh, um... In a wheelchair. Well, not even in a wheelchair. Broken. I uh, just gotta let go. All right. Let's look for the first photo opportunity. I don't think I think we've missed it. It's like a little charm on a wall, um, and some eggs and some rocks. Well, we'll see. We're we gonna keep getting okay. We're let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Yes, let's do that, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all the pieces of our puzzle so far after we have looked at the email. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Uh, about any information, Brace and Blackwell, cars identified. We look forward to clearing this up. Okay. Okay. Wallet, examine. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time, How much have, time I have I altered, altered since? since? What are the treasures are there to look at? It's an ashtray, yum, yes, yum, Chloe yum. Yes, Price was here. I'm getting lost in all this shit. Okay, how many have we missed? Ah, the first one. Excellent. We didn't miss any. Alright, eggs, rocks, some sort of animal, and footprints. It looks like we are going to the beach at some point. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. I wish I could tell yeah, Chloe right, how much that. William I want to look at this very interesting Staying coffee cup. Night is the best excuse to drink yes. lots of coffee. I mean, this is basically a point-and-click adventure, isn't it? Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. When you have eliminated the impossible, uh, the improbable, no matter, when you've eliminated the impossible, like whatever thing. remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Is that how it goes? Damn, this is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay. A quaint town seemingly stuck in time, once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry. The town has seen much better payday despite local success. The prestigious Blackwall Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters. Go Otters! Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates. To build in the deep forest near Blackwall Academy, local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Continued on next page. No, it's not. We're not going to sit down again. Magazine. That's my Chloe. <laughs> oh, how silly. 
can we have a go on Chloe's computer while she's there or poke through her drawers? Presumably not, right? Uh, I think that's everything here. Let's look at the board after we looked at the snow dome. That snow dome always makes me think of William and Chloe. Nothing else to see here. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't <laughs> waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. Why not? It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yeah, you're not really messing up the past, though, are you, Max? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. I mean, it's... Oh, okay. I'll try not to get too angry. Oh, oh no. bird! That poor little bird has been trapped in here. <laughs> oh, this would be. Uh, where's the light switch? There. Wasn't there a picture of a bird in one of the photoed eggs? Ah, oh, that's exciting, isn't it? Let's see... Where the bird is. No, Shower. Ah! Okay, we have to open the window. Is there a photo it's such opportunity? A warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Fly, be free. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. There wasn't a photo there, was there? Can we take a photo of it? We cannot. Alright. Fly. Um. Okay, maybe that will lead to something later. That's Chloe's room. We still can't go into these rooms. There's probably nothing else of interest in here. Hello, Max. Wash your face. Num num. No morphine in here now. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Okay. Okay. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Um. I must go downstairs and investigate David. Alright. So, I mean, that bird was that. Okay. 
feel like we maybe missed something with that bird, but we'll see. I mean, David's not in there, so let's go back up and check out his room. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Such a poetic man. Have we ever been in this room? Is this the garage? Yep. Locked from the other side. Garage. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. I helped Joyce lose William and now David. Yeah, Max. Real homebreaker, aren't you? Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Beached, beached, ripped, get, snit, beached angels. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Okay, good. Well done, Max. Your head hurts. Looks like David already booked a room. I think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Okay, sure, look. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Maybe we can go outside and find a photo opportunity in the garden. Ah, dead birds. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. I mean, it is kind of creepy. What happens if we rewind time now? Do we get to... Uh, I don't know what we've rewound to exactly. Presumably the bird's still in there? William never finished painting that wall. What are you looking at, Max? What have you seen, you naughty girl? Okay, can't go in there. We can't fast forward, can we? No. I guess there's nothing there. As much as that disappoints me. 
David appears to have gone. There's no way I can go to Chloe without going to David's locker. Wait, so what did I just rewind? There's definitely no photo here at all, is there? I know, I'm sorry. Ooh, SMSs. Warren. Dad. Courtney, hey girlfriend. Richard Marsh. Miss Caulfield, daughter Kate, you show true grace and bravery, you must know. Have we not read this before? I wanted to let you know that Kate's services next week and our family, okay. Okay, let's go check out the locker. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe, Max, maybe. Maybe those lockers that are ominously, um, ominously placed over here have a treasure inside. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Okay. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. If this is still locked from the other side, I'm going to be furious. Ah. Okay, something to break it with. Something to break it with. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. That was a bit of luck, wasn't it? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. Joyce... I should finish this letter to Joyce. You know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do. Sometimes I only know that nobody's ever understood me the way you do. I'd never do anything to hurt you or Chloe taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped my bounds with the and suspicion. I'm truly sorry and ashamed, but there are dark things happening in Acadia Bay I've never told you. You're my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intend to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead of a student committed suicide, I don't want to watch you kick me out of my favourite home. My stepdaughter hates me. Please let me get back on the riled wide that is Joyce Price. I'm Joyce Wallace now. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or... David is out there armed. Why don't we break into the gun locker? Hmm? Hmm? What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I mean, part of me is extremely... I wonder if David is going to the party. ...tempted... ...to... ...try... simple is it do we have a special date do we know Chloe's birthday 
do we have anything on David that indicates a number? Mm, we do not. Okay. Okay. Let's crowbar this thing. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something. Twin Peaks, really? I kind of want to plug some of these into Google. Let me see. They're all of a rough location, right? Let's put it in and see what happens. I'm just going to look on my phone very quickly. I got those the wrong way around because that appears to be in the middle of the sea in uh, Tillamook Bay. Near Portland. I mean, Portland's in Oregon, so I guess that would make sense. Five, four, two, two, eight, three. Okay, well, someone's been in the sea. Really? That's... Score. Back to Chloe now. That's all we're taking? There wasn't any... Okay, fine. Fine. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. All right, I think we're going to call it a day there. Um, it's as good a time as any, right? Didn't really achieve much, looked at a lot of really useless stuff, um, but we will be back later. Uh, on the left, um, the previous episode, episode one, uh, or part one of episode four, and on the right, uh, the next episode, although that isn't up as I speak, uh, but I will get it up at some point in the not too distant. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.